Hi everyone, my name is Ashley and I'm with Posh Crochet Patterns. Today's tutorial is this half sliced lemon. It is a sew on applique. So all you do is you crochet starting from the magic ring and you just go back and forth, back and forth. Change colors right here. It's really, really simple. It's so fast and easy, and you'll love it. You can decorate this on purses, pillows, blankets, washcloths, pot holders. You can do a lot of fun stuff with this. And as you see, it goes great with the fall colors. So how, how great is that, right? So that is what our tutorial will be today, this half slice lemon application. So to make this, um, we just need our yarn and our hook. So if you would like to make the accent color of white and add the slices, then you will need your solid base color and then your accent color. And for me, I am using this mercenized cotton here. This is Hobby Lobby Yarn B mercenized cotton. It's called Yarn B Fundamental Cotton in the color Canary. And for my accent white, I'm using a thinner, softer white cotton yarn. And this is Mainstays Cotton Yarn in the color white. And you only need a tiny bit. So um, I would just grab your scrap yarn and go for it. And the hook size we will be using is a three point, I can't get this thing to focus for nothing. At least not on the little, little numbers. This is a 3.25 millimeter hook. And we are doing amigurumi, which requires small, small tight stitches. So I do recommend using a hook that is smaller than a size four. Oh, and um, both of these yarns here, both of these yarns are a category four weight yarn. So a medium four weight yarn. And for this tutorial, you will also need scissors and a yarn needle. and both colors of yarn. So to begin, we will use our second accent color, our white color. We will make a magic ring We are going to chain one, so first we need to yarn over and pull that into our loop. We will chain one. We are going to make four single crochets in the ring. We're going to go into that ring, yarn over, pull up a loop. We have two loops on our hook. Going to yarn over and pull through both loops for a single crochet. We are going to do this three more times.
So we have our four single crochets. We are now going to rejoin with our main color, which is our yellow. So I have my yellow yarn pinched here. I'm going to yarn over and let's see, we are going to chain one I'm going to pull that white down and then turn For row two, in the same chain, we will make two single crochets. So the same chain here. And if you want, you can crochet over your yarn end. Place it in the front. And just lightly pinch. Go into that chain and make your two single crochets. In the next chain, we will make one single crochet. In our next chain, we will make one single crochet. And our last chain right here, we're going to make two single crochets for an increase. It's one. And if you want your magic ring, you can go ahead and pull and close that. Totally up to you if you want to. So now for row three, we're going to stay with the yellow. We're going to chain one and turn. In the same chain, we will make one single crochet. In the next chain, we will make two single crochets. In the next two chains, we will make two single crochets in each. So this chain and this chain. Let's see, one single crochet, 
two, it's actually one, two, three, four. I'm sorry, the next three, the next three chains. We will make two single crochets in each. It's one. And two. Next chain. One. And two. Next chain. One and two. In our very last chain, only one single crochet. Chain one and turn. row four in the same chain here we will make one single crochet in the next two chains we will make one single crochet in each one next chain one single crochet in the next chain we will make two single crochets let's see In the next two chains, oh, oh, I dropped my paper. Okay, so we just made our two single crochets. In that fourth chain in the next two chains we will make one single crochet in each so that's one next chain one single crochet In our next chain, we will make two single crochets. It's one. And two. In the next three chains, we will make one single crochet in each. One. And one.
and one. We will chain one and turn. For row five, in the same chain here, we will make one single crochet. In the next chain, we will make two single crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. In the next eight chains, we will make one single crochet in each of the next eight chains. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. In our next chain, we will make two single crochets. It's one. And two. In our last chain, we will make one single crochet. Isn't that nice so far? So we have two rows left. We now need to change color to the white. So I'm going to lay this down. Oops. I'm going to cut my white yarn. I'm going to go ahead and cut this yellow yarn. I'm just going to pinch like that. I'm just going to yarn over and chain one. I'm going to take that yellow and pull that down. And I'm going to turn. I'm going to work over this yarn in right here. So pull that down and pull that. So for row six, we chained one and turned. In the same chain, we will now make two single crochets. So in that same chain there, We'll make two single crochets.
in the next five chains. We will make one single crochet in each. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. That looks very nice. All right. Our next chain we will make two single crochets in the same chain. So I'm gonna go back into that same chain. Our next chain will be one single crochet Our next chain will be two single crochets. We have one, two, three, four, five chains left. In the next four chains, we will make one single crochet in each. So it's one, and it's two. That's three, and four. Our last chain, we will make two single crochets. There we go. Look how nice. So we have one, one row left of yellow. Let's see. So we will rejoin with our yellow, pull on the white and turn. For row seven, we chained one and turn. In the same chain, we will make one single crochet. We will now make one single crochet in each chain all the way across.
on, Tallulah. I don't know if you all hear my little girl. Uh -huh. She's so cute. Tallulah, she's my little guinea pig, but she's my little girl. <laughs> She's definitely my little girl. And she's sitting over there on the couch. She's whining at me. She wants mommy's attention. Guinea pigs are like the greatest little pets ever. They are so cute and funny, and they have, like, really, really, like, strong personalities. They're so cute. They're so vocal and chatty. They're really, really precious. Best pets ever. And I have two. <laughs> two little girls, Shyla and Tallulah. And they're both complete opposites. Tallulah, she's like the super, super sweet one, like the calm, sweet one. And Shyla, she's like moody. She's like spunky and moody. And man, does she got a personality though? But I love it though. I, I love it. Let's see, we got that last, last stitch there. Don't want to miss, don't want to miss that. Maybe one day I'll let you all meet my girls. I'll put them on the video so you all can meet them. Yeah, if it's just a tad bit tight, just give it a little pull. It'll straighten out good, see? Just like this other one. This other one I made completely identical, and it's pretty straight too, so. Just sometimes I make them so tight they shrink up, and you just gotta just kind of adjust them a little bit. So now all we have to do is add these little accents. Now you do not have to use a yarn needle to do this. So if you don't have one, don't worry about it. No big deal. What we'll do is we'll just insert our hook into the center here. You see that center right there of our magic ring? I kind of pulled mine and made it too tight. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, so that's our center that we're going to go into. So you can always just grab the yarn and pull it through that center. So you don't have to have a yarn needle. Um, but what we are going to do, though, is we're going to cut our uh, yellow, yellow yarn. Now, if you would like to make this bigger, this is what I would suggest. If you noticed... When I would increase a lot with the two single crochets, two single, two single, two single, two singles, when I increased a lot, I only made a one single crochet in the first and last chain. And then um, the following row, I think I may have added two single crochets in the first so if you want to make this bigger and you want to keep going what i would suggest is right here and right here these two spots right here and right here that's where you really really want to increase at 
but I would do every other row. So if you're going to add some increases here, 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 and maybe here, then make sure, um, well, try it out. You know, it, it might look, it might do fine if you add two in the first, two in the last. Maybe skip two, three, skip three, add two, skip three, add two, skip three, add two, skip three, add two. That'll work. That actually will work. That's probably what I would do. If I was to make this bigger, I would probably go two, because we just did one in each one. So that means this next row's got to have evenly spaced increases. And then the following row, maybe even do the same thing, but just do the increases in differently spaced areas. Yeah, just try that out, or you can do, you know, two, one, or you can go um, two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two. And that will get you to where you're still increasing the right way. Because just like those slices go like this. Those are pretty much where you need to be doing your increases in four different areas of this. So yeah, that's that's what I would do if you want to try to make and you know make the slice a bigger slice. But for now, we're just going to stick with the size we got. We'll be weaving in our yarn ends, but I like to do that with a smaller hook. I don't, I don't want to mess with the yarn needle and, and trying to get it in and out and all that. I, I don't want to mess with that. So, Now right here, we want to yarn over and pull through to bind that off. Or that would have came undone. So we definitely want to do that. And then um, these yarn ends... Um, we'll hide those. We'll hide those. Actually, we need to do that now. That's our next step. We need to hide our yarn ends, and then we will make our slices. And then, you, so you just need to decide which side do you want your front and which side do you want as your back. And once you decide that, then that's when we will um, weave in our yarn ends in the back of our work where where it will be unseen oops I forgot I need to cut my white yarn let's see or actually let's Let's keep that white yarn on there. We all know I'll cut it because you all probably already cut yours. So that's what I'll do. I'll just cut it. I was thinking um, that last white row of just keeping it and then weaving it in and out for the slices, but. We'll just do it like this. I'll worry about. Let's see. I'm going to worry about this after I make the slices because I want. I don't want to make that too tight to where I can't get in to that. Or actually, let's see. Where's Oh, it'll be fine. Just tighten it up. Okay. Now, I need a smaller, smaller, I like to use a smaller hook. So, which side am I going to use? 
This is the front of the white, the front of the single crochets. I might stick with that. Um, so I need to pull this in the back. Pull that in the back. And then we're just going to, we're just going to weave these in. In the back here. doesn't have to look too too good you know or too perfect because um, we're gonna sew this on something anyway so they're not no one's gonna see it so it doesn't have to be real special or anything then I might go behind that just so I can get away from that edge. And I hope y'all have had a really great day today. So far my day has been really good. And I hope, hope you all are having a great day too. I'm just trying to weave this in and out of some back stitches so it's out of the way and unseen. Nothing, nothing special. Oh, I want to cover up that gap. All right, let's see. I can get that gap covered up. Going right here, maybe. Definitely want my gaps covered. Oh, that won't. Oh, and um, I'm going to be posting a lot of crochet tutorials. I've I've had um a hard time. Uh, lately over the past few months with my health and stuff but now that I'm doing a lot better I'm going to be practically every day um, working on uh, tutorials to try to catch up on everything that way we can jump right into fall stuff so I've already I've already made several things for fall uh, several mini pumpkins pumpkin coaster that um, that little pumpkin on the shish kebab skewer that I got in my plant um, for a plant decoration um, we're gonna be learning that uh, got, got a lot of stuff. Oh, I've already made three head warmers. Very nice, too, by the way. One's an owl, which I think will, I think everyone will love. Um, I used the feather stitch. And it has really cute, big, um, owl eyes and a nose. I think y'all will love that, and um, some other, two other head warmers, and and I got a few things uh, for Christmas already made too, and then a few things I'm working on right now for Christmas. Constantly, constantly designing. That's part of what I do, but I love it. I don't get paid for it. <laughs> But I love it. It's it's a really fun hobby that I'm hoping that I will eventually start getting paid for. So, I'm just going to clip these down. I don't have to be real short or nothing. Um, 
Unless they're going to be seen, you know. But mine aren't, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to clip those, get those out of the way. Oh, yes, very, very nice. Okay, now I am going to use a yarn needle. And we're going to use the white, um, unless you want to use the yellow. I'm not really sure how that would look with the yellow. Um, that would be interesting. That actually might not look too bad. So we're going to need about a 10 inch strand for our slices. So about 10. Actually, you know what? Let's go a little extra. Let's go 12 because I don't want to last time when I was making the line my, my string was too short let's see that's about an inch oops the slice here to here that's about an inch so let's go two four six eight ten so yeah let's go twelve we'll go twelve loosely loose twelve that like that throw that over there yeah this should be long enough okay so um, we're gonna go into the center here going to go right across to here. Right about here. That's it. Right there. Now we're going to go back into that center. See, that's one, two, three. So skip three. Yep, that's how I did it. Skip three chains. One, two, three. Right. So it go in between. So one, two, three. In between that third and fourth chain. Very nice. Uh, Tallulah. Oh, she just. She just pushed her her hay bale right off the couch. All right, let's see. So skip one, two, th one, two, three, in between the third and fourth. Or you can always go up above the white. But on this one, I went under the row of white. So now we'll go back in that center. One, two, three, in between the third and fourth. Back. Actually, yeah. Back into that center. Oh, do I got enough? And then right back here. So you might want to do 11 or no, hold on, 12. You might want to do 13 or 14 inches if you want just like, you know, a little extra. Or you can do what I did, loose, loose 12, in, loosely uh, 12 inches. So 
we are done. We just gotta weave this in. Alright, do we want to hide this? Want to hide it in the back. Oh, come on. Get that in there. There we go. That's already back there, but... I'll do like that, okay. So now just need to cut it. Oh, there we go. Look how nice, right? Yeah, there we go. There it is. I hope you all like the video. Oh, um, if you have not subscribed. Please subscribe. I, I will not disappoint you. You will definitely be glad that you subscribed. And um, like and share too. Um, that way, if, if other people see that you liked it, then they'll definitely choose to watch it too. So I will see you all soon. Oh, the next tutorial is the Mandala Bikini Bra Cups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach the A cup first, then the B cup, then the C cup, and the D cup. So it'll, they'll all be separate tutorials, okay? And you all will really, really like it. It's like a flower. It's made with bee stitches and granny stitches, and it, and it looks like a flower design. It's really, really cute. So... I know you all will love it. So I will see you all soon. Thank you for joining me. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.